Barbara Oker, I'm 61, and I'm a volunteer at Suncare. I work in the transport department. So on Tuesdays, I drive people around wherever they need to go. So I love doing that. I've had quite a few careers in my life. Um, I think the reason I got into Suncare was I lost my job when COVID happened. And then I had quite a bit of time on my hands, so I thought I'd volunteer and the Suncare was the place that I chose. So my life at the moment is quite busy. On Mondays, I drive to Brisbane and mind my grandchildren. On Tuesdays, I volunteer at Suncare. And the other days, I either swim in a squat or I do surf life-saving uh, skis training, which is a nine-foot ski out in the ocean at Alex, or I go to the gym, or I walk, and I keep myself fairly busy. So I got into surf life-saving about 30 years ago when my eldest daughter joined Nippers, and she's now 38. So I volunteered there for quite some time. Um, so I did patrols for 10 years, and then I do other volunteer work that they need doing. So if they've got a carnival, I help out in the catering section, or I do raffles for them, or anything that they need. I've been competing for Alexandra Headland Surf Life Saving Club for over 20 years. I've been to state titles, Australian titles, and I also do pool rescue. So that's also state titles and Australian titles. And I've been fortunate enough to win some medals. But for me, it's not about the competition, it's more the training, the getting to know other people, spending time with like-minded people. So I really enjoy that side of surf life saving. Um, not to sweat the small stuff. So I think that we can get very bogged down in some little things that are always going to work out in the end. I think um, patience is also another thing because I always want things sorted or settled know tomorrow. Um, I think the other thing that um, I wish I was told is that you can't change how other people perceive you or think about you and you can't change the way they react to situations. You know you can only concentrate on yourself and the way you react. A diary is the most important thing in my life. I write everything down. So for me, I can look at what my day looks like, my week looks like, and even sometimes further into the future. So writing things down in a diary is definitely one of the best tools that I could use. Hello, my name's Alison Hall. I'm the Customer Service Team Leader. Most people know me as Al. I prefer to be called Al. Alison is just for when my mum is angry with me, which is clearly never. Uh, I've worked for Suncare for four and a half years and I absolutely love my role. Uh, my journey. So I was born in the UK and moved over to New Zealand when I was seven and a half. And then uh, we lived in New Zealand until I was 14 and a half. And then my mum decided she missed her family. So we moved back to the UK. And then after a year and a half, my mum realised she didn't miss her family that much, so we then moved back to New Zealand. Um, by that time, there were six children, so I'm one of six. I've lived in New Zealand for most of my life, and then 20 years ago, my husband and my two sons decided we would uh, move over to Australia for a change of lifestyle and have never looked back. My world now is um, very, very busy. I have two adult children. I have two sons, 29 and 27. And I also, my third child is my, our yellow Labrador, who's called Hugo Boss. So I have Jordan Lloyd and Hugo, and my lovely husband, John, who I've been with since I was 19, um, at home. So it's a pretty busy household. My oldest son is just building his first home. And within the next few weeks, both of my sons will be moving out into that new home. So that's very exciting. A lot of people have said to me, will I miss them? And my response firstly is not so much, not at the moment. So why do I say that? I say that because I have a very busy life. Um, both sun care keeps me very busy. I love it. I love to be crazy busy. I think that's, I best perform that way. Um, when I go home, I obviously provide a meal for my family. I like to be in the kitchen. Cooking is definitely a stress relief for me. I'm drowning myself in a recipe. And on the weekends, perhaps with just a little glass of wine while I do that. Um, it's something that I love to do. 
Um, I start my day walking in the morning with my Labrador. He's just the joy in my morning. He helps me get out of bed or bounce out of bed because of him. And I love going out in the fresh air and walking through the parks and the forests and sometimes the beaches with him as well. I think worrying about the outside or the outside of my external being rather than my internal being. I think we worry a lot when we're younger about how we look and how we present ourselves, whereas I think it really matters what's on the inside. And I don't think that's just personality-wise and your values and how it all comes out. I also think internally, so I think if I'd learnt that a bit earlier, I might have been able to work on my external a bit sooner and I'm still waiting for that. I think to enjoy life, it's really important uh, to have time with your family and time doing what you want to do. Um, I think in order to enjoy my life, um, I spend a lot of time outdoors, um, I laugh a lot. I think having a sense of humour and being able to laugh at yourself is really important. I do that quite a bit and I know people laugh at me a lot and that's okay. Uh, I do think if you can have some fun in life, it really does uh, relieve your stresses and helps you enjoy everything around you. Personally, I would like to thank my colleagues at Bundaberg Sun Care for acknowledging my work ethics. I am very blessed to have the opportunity to work full time at Sun Care with clients who I have faith in, achieve good rapport, making their lives better, whether it's domestic, personal care, or social support. I'm a single parent raising four beautiful children 19 year old son who is on the autism spectrum, 14 year old daughter, and 10 year old twins, boy and girl. I will be studying Bachelor of Nursing part-time from July this year, 2023. I studied Diploma of Nursing, graduated in 2020. I balance my life by delegating chores to each child to their ability. I go to PCYC Gym 5am, five days a week and meditate every night before bed. Every Thursday evenings I do water aerobics at my local indoor pool, Bundaberg Swimming Academy. I prepare healthy homemade meals for three days at a time. Love to read novels in my spare time. In 1998, I read a book, the first book that I'd ever read from the beginning to the end, The Power of Alpha, Thinking. Jess Stern, then beneath whose hand, the autobiography of Aaron Williams. Started studying the Old Testament in 2007 on my own. When I was younger, I wish I knew that reading is a healthy habit and gym is good for the body, mind and soul. My advice is that time management is extremely important. Empathy for another person's need is a good trait and always practice patience. You're never too old to learn more. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve.